For this project, I have a 9 by 12 piece of colored construction paper. I chose orange because it's a nice fall color, like pumpkins. And then I have a white piece of paper that is half of that. It's 6 by 12. So basically, I just took a white version of this and cut it in half. So I have a 9 by 12 orange paper and a 6 by 12 piece of white drawing paper. I'm going to line them up so that what we have right here is a line of symmetry. This lesson is going to be about symmetry and balance. Now, in my front yard, I have a maple tree. It's not a very remarkable maple tree. It's big and messy, but every fall, it sends me these love letters. I love the leaves in the fall. I love the colors. I love the shapes. And when you look at them, they have this sense of basic symmetry. Leaves have veins that run through them. And this main vein in this leaf is basically a line of symmetry. When you look at these leaves, that line down the middle and the shape of the leaf is very balanced. They have this triangle, the kind of a serrated toothy edge. Triangle, triangle. And so it's not perfect. This is nature. Things get nibbled. They get brown spots. And the veins themselves aren't perfectly balanced, but the shape is pretty symmetrical. It runs right down through the stem. So what I'm going to do for this project is I'm going to line that center symmetrical vein up with this line we have right here, because this rectangle that I have is very symmetrical now. It's just opposite colors. I'm going to call them opposite colors, orange and white. And the line where they meet is a line of symmetry. So I've lined my leaf up so that that center line is falling right along that line where the orange and the white paper meet. That is my line of symmetry. And I'm going to carefully trace around the edge of my leaf. Now, I'm not worried about getting every last little bump and detail. I'm just going to get the big shapes. So I'm going to just get this big shape here. Again, I'm not worried about all these little, but look how symmetrical. I love leaves. I just think they're fascinating and they're also beautiful. They're a very organic shape. Remember, organic means it's from nature. It's a natural shape and you can't get more organic or natural than a leaf. Now I have this nice wandering organic line. So next I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this line turning my paper and you'll notice that when I cut especially a complicated line like this I move my paper much more than I move my scissors. So I'll hold my scissors kind of in the same direction. That whole thing is just going to go right there. And I turn my paper. So I kind of stop cutting, pivot, stop cutting, pivot. And that lets me get into those little details. And again, if I don't follow the line exactly, that's fine. This is an organic line and an organic shape. So it's fine if I kind of change it as I go. It's not going to make anything look wrong. Organic shapes have a lot of variety. Pivoting my paper. I do turn my scissors a little bit, but mostly I turn my paper. Set my scissors aside and line that white paper back up on my orange. And there's my line of symmetry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this along that line of symmetry. I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to line it back up so that there's still a line there almost like a checkerboard. It goes back and forth. Now I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm going to turn it up just enough so I get a little bit of glue. I'm going to start with this leaf shape and one of the things you have to be careful about is that you don't go like this and put the glue on here because then you're flipping it over. We want to make sure it's going to line up like this so I'm going to glue this down. I have to take it, flip it like this. I'm going to push it off to the side here so I don't make a mess with my glue. my glue and then I bring it back so that it matches up and so has that balance and I'm going to make sure that I line up my edges Oops, I'll look over there. 
Now I have to be careful of the same thing with this. When I have this glued down, I want to have this leaf shape half white, half orange. So I'm going to turn this over to add the glue. That's an important step. It's easy to make a mistake on that. And you could still make an interesting design. Mistakes sometimes lead to the most interesting artwork there is, I think. So don't panic. Now, take this back, and again, I'm gonna look for the edges so that I get my shape here. Slide it into place. I can kind of move it until I really rub it down. I'm more worried about making an interesting leaf design than I am lining up the edges of the paper. That doesn't bother me. Great, so now I have it all glued down. If you see any color or um, pencil where we trace and that bothers you, you can kind of erase that now. You won't see it on this side because we flipped it over, so it'll only be on the drawing paper. So now I have this really nice symmetrical leaf design. Half orange, half white, half orange, half white. And this is kind of an exploration of positive and negative space doesn't matter which paper you start with now. Is it a white shape on an orange paper or an orange shape on a white paper? We've kind of created this lovely balanced positive and negative. Now I'm going to carefully turn down my glue stick, put my cap on. I want to make sure all my supplies are going to be good for the next time I'm ready to make art. And I'm going to repeat kind of what I did when I traced my leaf shape. I'm going to follow the contour line that I have, that I've made on my paper. It kind of looks nice with a leaf in the middle of it, doesn't it? And I chose some warm colors. Reds, orange, yellows, pinks are warm colors on the color wheel and they go nice with fall. So I'm gonna just start by making a contour line around the edge. You can color this in and make it solid. I'm going to start on the drawing paper because the colors will show up better on there. Now I'm just going to play and have fun with lines and contour line until I get a design that I'm happy with. I can't wait to see what you make.